What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and a happy holiday season to you. So we have a good friend of the channel. She will most likely comment on this video and we will pin that. Her name is Jamie. Jamie, what's up? There are many ways I take suggestions for this channel. And I've historically really like prioritized Jamie's because she's become a good friend and always has a lot of the things in this channel we were exposed to because of, of Jamie. So Jamie's like a scout for the channel. <clears throat> but I do um, also accept bribes for suggestions. The link is down below and got to give what the people want. Larry Fleet, where I find God. So this is country. Larry Fleet is from, is from uh, White Bluff, Tennessee. His great grandfather and great uncle had a bluegrass band called the Happy Two, which he joined when he was six years old. His, his great uncle taught him how to play the guitar and fiddle. So we're kind of dealing with, with, a, with a prodigy here. As you guys know, um, I don't know country. In the description, you are going to see a, a link to a submission and upvote site. One of the many placing one of the many places we you know take into consideration y'all suggestions. Most of the requests on here, especially the top ones, are all country. And this has been a lot of fun and worth it. So where I find God, Jamie thinks that this song will speak to me. So let's see. I have the lyrics pulled up. I'm ready. And some of you guys have been starting to ping me asking me, do I like country? Am I starting to like country? You guys tell anyone we're going to have a problem, but I think so. Let's see, Larry. Mm. Great beard. Out of here, rock bottom. Mm. Sit alone, alone, lost in. Pay my tan, put me in a can. You didn't have to. He see I was hurt. Oh. I got his name. So I Who's this cat? me just the same. Okay. Wow. Okay. Right off the bat. Okay, this is the annoying part of reaction channels. We pause and interrupt the song. We actually kind of have to for copyright reasons, but then it allows us to do commentary without disrupting the song. That's beautiful. What I've been loving about country, it's the storytelling. I think I have yet to listen to a country song. Actually, we checked out a song by the chicks that they didn't tell a story. But most of the country songs we've checked out all have a story. So that's a part of it. And I love it. And the story that we're being told here, I am worried we're going to be moved to tears because this is already pretty beautiful. Haven't we all felt that way? Unworthy of being saved. But... Sometimes the universe is more generous than we than we deserve. And how beautiful is that? Be out on the water. The fish just wouldn't buy. Mm. I put my pole down, I float around. It's just so quiet. And I can hear my old man. The same sun just be still. You can't find peace like this. Wow. In a bottle or a pill. That's such a great line. That's where I find God. Dude, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful song, bro. <laughs> I could hear my old man saying, son, just be still because you can't find peace like this in a bottle, in a bottle or a pill. I am a religious person. I do go to church. I attend, like I, I visit uh, the temples of my church for some spiritual experiences. But here's a weird one. One of my most profound spiritual experiences in my life was when I was feeling pretty overwhelmed and I was making a lot of mistakes at the time. 
It was a prayer I gave in a bathroom. Stall at work. <laughs> My office, we thankfully have these, we, we have these uh, bathroom stalls that are like essentially from bottom to top, like covered, like, so it's like a private room. It's pretty sweet, actually. And though it's kind of gross, I kneeled down and had a, an experience. And I love that they pointed that out. You don't need you these place these experiences aren't exclusive to quote unquote church. Sometimes late at night I lie there and listen to the sound of her heartbeat. He's got like the most country, like southern voice I've ever heard. I don't know what they're saying. That's beautiful. Oh, but it sounds like a hymn to me. Wow. And now I ain't too good at prayer. But thanks for everything. And from Barstool to that living room, the Sunday morning in a church pew. Oh my God. Staying on a hayfield, and then a stay back to Nashville. The Chevrolet. Chevy truck. So, from a bar stool to that. Okay, I need to show this video to my wife because that is a glorious mullet. My current hairstyle is the compromise my wife and I had because I wanted to grow a mullet, dude. And I will, I will forever hold it against her that she didn't let me. But at least we, at least we're growing out this. I guess what's called a Euro hawk. Great mullet, dude. Great voice. For some reason, your posture while you're singing is legit. I want to know who you are. Sunday morning in a church pew in a deer stain on a hay field and in a stain back to Nashville the Chevrolet Kind of sounded like Brian Adams there. That's where we found God. Larry Fleet, everybody, thank you. Nice. Me and him just riding around talking. Will I do that a lot? Will I do that a lot? Because that's where I find God. Beautiful. I love that song, Jamie. I. Jamie knows exactly what's going to touch me. Morgan Wallen is is. I mean, it's in the title of the video. That's who that other person was. Good one, Sebastian. That song makes me think of something I've been doing that's really helped me. And if this helps one person, I'm going to share it. In the past decade of my life, you know, this is the time to like for, in, for me to grind in my career and all this stuff. I tried to, I focused probably a little too much on like hyper productivity. So if I was ever in the car, I was listening to a book. I was listening to a podcast that, that taught me something. In the past few years, I have felt disconnected from God. And I can't remember the last time I've actually listened to something in my car. I've, only, I've had it silent. And like Larry Fleet described, I feel like I'm finding God again. Beautiful music makes a lot of sense too. But once in a while, turn that off and go within yourself. What did you guys think? I love the passion of the country community. I like how simple it is to interpret these songs. They speak to me quickly. And I don't think humans can change without story. If you teach a good principle, that's fine and all. But if you can embed a good principle within a story, for some reason, us as people and our lizard brains are more receptive to that. And country is storytelling and music in one thing. So why wouldn't it speak to you? Right? <laughs>